Demet Gaming Presence. Hi there, and welcome to Better Minecraft. Um, yeah, I am here in the uh, cobblestone generator. It's working, as you can see. Working wonders. I did fix the roof, added the crimson wood thing instead, so now it's non-burnable and as you may notice we have a new building over here so let's quickly check that i'm just a bit cautious because there was a there we go creeper i don't want to blow up any of the new buildings awesome I always wanted a hole right there. Okay, but yeah, new building. And as you may notice, there's a lot of basalt here because it's a basalt generator. Yeah, I decided to put it in here because the thing I made for making it uh, turned out to take up a lot more space. This was really a challenge for me to make this because yeah, I mean, I, I made it kind of like the cobblestone generator, but a lot of the basalt uh, kept burning in the lava. So I f figured out I, I needed some sort of method to push it out. And yeah, I tried moving or using a piston and it kind of works. The only downside is it makes a ton of noise, as you may notice. But it is working perfectly, as you can see. Also, I well, did also burn the roof here, so yeah. I remade the roof with the nether brick instead. So yeah, that kind of works, I guess. Um, what else did I do? I removed the bee farm. I have plants for the bee farm. Uh, also, I made this pond because I had a lobster in a bucket, which I can't find anymore. Oh, no, that's the fish. Yeah, I've had that lobster since the first base, I think, or the first place we chose to live. It should be down here. Oh, it's somewhere anyways it's it's in there I added a few trees just to make it look pretty hey yeah also I moved the trading thing out here where in the I had a villager in here apparently he disappeared weird yeah, it was there just a second ago. Well, I did have a villager in here, but yeah. Stuff has it tends to disappear in this game. Uh, what else did I do in between episodes? I added some, um, or this is just a test, but it, it is working. Honeycomb farms. Uh, pretty easy setup. Dispenser there, observer to detect when there's honey in it. Uh, of course, the dispenser has shears and some redstone up top. Yeah, it works perfectly. Only downside is the bees get stuck up there. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, I added some mushroom farms in here. Well, actually, it's pretty much only another wart farm but the other ones are more for show and here I have my test farm to see if these guys can farm cucumbers apparently they can farm them but they cannot regrow them so there will not be an automated cucumber farm or tea farm. 
Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of need the cucumbers for trading, so I have to regrow them all the time. So I detest the thing where uh, I, originally this one, Juliet, Juliet was the farmer and Natalie was the guy uh, stuck in here. But I kind of planted wheat here first, so I had an idea that Juliet might have been filled up with uh, stuff. So I tried to switch them around, but it doesn't seem to help. Maybe Natalie is filled up with stuff as well. At least she ain't planting cucumbers. So yeah, I also tried with white. I might have put too many different kinds of stuff in here. But in today's episode, I am thinking we'll be remaking the sugarcane farm because the old one kind of worked but I felt like we lost way too much of the the product due to the fact that we had the water collection system and it kind of didn't work or it worked but we kind of didn't get as much stuff as I was hoping no. Okay, there we go. Why can't I get up there? Oh, I can't even add one more. Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, because the roof is in the way. Ah. Okay, you didn't count on that. Um, but yeah. That's at least the plan for now, to expand this. There we go. Let's put that away. Uh, put that there. Uh, but yeah, I've added a railway. Um, I was expecting it to be a bit more difficult um, getting that to work, but so that's why I did it off camera. I may have added a bit too many power or uh, redstone blocks, but yeah, who cares? It's working. So design wise, we have the water, which is going to be behind the uh, sugar cane now. And we'll let, I'm guessing a glass wall, something like that here. And yeah. I think that's going to be a pretty good thing. I was considering making bamboo here as well, but I think we'll hold off with that and just make sugar cane. And then we'll add the bamboo parts, or maybe make it in a different setting, a different place. But it does look like we need to sleep before we can get anything else done here. So let's quickly grab these. And we'll need some building block as well. Yeah, so sleep. Okay, so hopefully we didn't spawn any creepers. For some reason they don't show on the minimap. So that's kind of annoying. Okay, so let's see. Building blocks. So we'll be adding those here. Don't think we need one there. Well, we'll put it anyway. Oops. side I believe. Oops. 
Oops. So I'm guessing we won't need one there, do we? blocks behind these there we go that should be enough I think we'll just place that one there for now good so guess we need more stuff can't even get out here there we go so redstone and we got the observers I guess we need more of those as well we kind of need some glass also but let's uh, set up what we've got for now so let's see observers no nope. that's not how you're supposed to put there we go all the way out there not that far out yeah, let's try that again oh yeah also I did expand the uh, platform where the villager farms are um, mainly to just get a bit extra room to make stairs for the next level also I'm not quite sure I like this design and yeah as you can see the villager in there has died again uh, he actually died within a few days but there was like three wheat plants, so it was kind of expected. Well, we did have enough of those. That's nice. Um, I believe this is the way to do it. them we did awesome so yeah this space actually is kind of annoying oh. I think we'll do that so all we need now is four more Pistons and one more observer, I think. So let's see if we. Yeah, I'm just gonna harvest all of this just so we don't lose it and replant cucumbers. It is a bit annoying. You can't automate those. Oops. 
60s here. Alright, we don't have cobblestone down here. Uh, let's grab some wheat first. few stacks of those and I think we need some quartz and some well we do have redstone so I think that's gonna be enough to need anything else I can't remember the piston recipe well we can at least make 14 of those let's do that and we'll need that. I think maybe it's ingots. Yeah, it was. Awesome. So let's put that back. Oh, right. I found some dark iron. I didn't have enough to make the doors, but I found out that this corruption plus uh, iron makes dark iron. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like the dark iron thing, right glass. But yeah, uh, corruption, I got that from the raid, I believe. That should be enough. Uh, the raid we had where, yeah, stuff got killed. A lot of stuff got killed. I even believe we got like a uh, witch inside the... Uh... Oh, we don't have enough of those. Uh, come on. Ah, we have more here. Cool. Yeah, inside the villager breeder, so there's something kind of... Uh, a thing that teleported in there and killed everything, at least tried to, but luckily we had those golems in there, so it wasn't that bad. But yeah, it kind of sucked. Did I bring enough redstone? I did. Awesome. So, let's see, pistons. And now, of course, we can't get up there, so that's not going to help us at all. There we go. There we go, and we'll just add that there. For this part, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I can cover that up, but I think it's going to be okay. So what we want to do here is not fall down there. perfectly. Kinda. And sleepy time again. Awesome. But yeah, it's gonna be somewhat the same design. I think I might change these for locks instead. Uh, but let's sleep first. And we'll go over here at locks. I think I'll be uh, beautifying this off camera, maybe. Come on. We 
guessing that's one too many, isn't it? so that the product doesn't flow in there. And we want glass so we can see stuff getting killed by the uh, pistons. Always want to call it something else. enough to fill in this part we do awesome Oops. yeah come likely should have made some way of actually getting in there and planting the stuff again but yeah, we'll figure some way I guess guess we have enough glass on us so I can just destroy it shouldn't be that much of a issue Considering the fences would stick to the glass, well, we'll uh... and now I can't get under here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll have to do something about that at some point. I was just considering not or uh, planting one even if I didn't need it but we do have that one piston that should harvest that at, as well so everything should be good there we go so maybe we should check if everything works looks like it over here, I didn't see. Wunderbar. So now all we need to do is actually close stuff off. Maybe check if this is working. Are we actually getting? We are getting stuff in the crates. Awesome. Well, that was kind of easy. And we even got sugar cane to spare. We need more logs, I think. Uh, we've got way too much glass on us. And cobblestone. Okay. Well, let's see. Logs. Let's head back up there. Oh. Was that from that? 
things. Yeah, I thought for a second that he actually, or she actually replanted, but no. No chance. Lazy farmer. some point we will have to make a bamboo farm because why not I know what I forgot well we'll, we'll let those later I made some cool lanterns sort of light in here just for yeah making it all pretty um, can I put torches there I cannot there no yeah I've heard someone say that if you add torches uh, next to uh, redstone it should reduce the lag somehow So at least we can add one there. Hopefully that'll help uh, at least a little bit. 56. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, aesthetics wise, it's pretty much the same design as the size design as the other one actually let's because I kind of feel like this green wood fits uh, sugar cane quite well I guess the major difference between this one and the other one is it's not as wide uh, as the other one, but it is taller. So, yeah. And I just figured out what to do. Awesome. So, let's go grab some stone. Actually, let's quick grab those lanterns. brick maybe I was kind of hoping they would fit smooth uh, smooth stone difficult word yeah they don't really okay that's fine so we'll get some stone brick or maybe oops wrong box Standard stone. It should be the same color. I think we need some more of those. I believe I made them from smooth or yeah, those shrub lights. Uh, we can make eight more. That's cool. That's enough, I think. And we don't have enough stone, do we? No, we do not. Okay. So what we'll do before we need to sleep is to add some stone to the furnace. Oh, we already got some. Awesome. Let's grab a couple more 
power stacks. And we'll add those there. And just a second and eat some food. And sleep. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna take forever. Um Let's quickly grab the ones we made over here. Hopefully we'll have enough. I do not think so. Yeah, well, I don't know why I ran past these. Might as well grab those. And we'll place the lamps there. go. So well, let's do two and a lamp and three. I don't think we need this many lamps actually because they do give a good amount of light. be able to see them from down below so it looks like we might even have enough stone well maybe not if not we'll maybe just switch uh, some of the stone for actual lamps. Yeah, it's okay. So we'll need five more. Should have five down here, hopefully. Twelve. More than enough. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It's the same height as that. saw something that was wrong. Uh, it's gonna fall down there. Yeah. Awesome. And then everything is wrong. It's okay. So uh, why did I jump down here? Let's go down and see if we can actually see those lights. Hopefully they'll help with all these creeper issues in here. Not really. I mean, they don't look like they actually give any light. Guess that's fine. Cobblestone, lamp, nothing. Oh, because I broke the stone, it's cobblestone now. Okay. Uh, let's put that in there. There's actually another thing that I would like to show you. That really, that's really annoying. I wonder if you got killed by something? I guess you could have been killed. I had a fisher trading fella in there. 
And I even traded with him. Yeah. I don't get that. Why? That, that's really annoying. But no, that's, that's not what I wanted to show you. Oh, I almost fucked up there. I just need to go and get something first. It's a tiny project I'm working on. Uh, right, we got new paints. And we'll bring the iron one, that's fine. But yeah, it's in the nether, of course. That's why I'm wearing golden pants. Just checking if I remember to shut the door. I did. Yeah, right, this fence post is for uh, tying up golems. If I want to catch a decent amount of them and bring them here. Because the thing is, I do not have too many golems here. Or well, I do, but they are kind of like all over the place. Yeah, I've, I've built this tiny structure here. I have my aura here and Bob, he's my best friend, at least here in the nether. I use him to trade gold with and oh, get black stone, apparently. That's something he really likes to give me. I got carrots because there's a goblin that likes getting carrots and of course rotten flesh for aura. So up here is where I shoot the piglins. Yeah, we need to hide from that thing. That's really an annoying creature. But yeah, let's quickly show you how it works. I shoot Piggy. Piggy comes here with his friends. And I swing my sword and everyone's happy. I am happy because I get loot. I mean, it's not the best gold farm, but as you can see, it kind of works. And if I'm really good at aiming, I can actually hit the ones that are like far away. But that's a rare thing. Oh. Okay, that one disappeared. Oh. Who got him run? But you were supposed to bring your friends. Because I can't hit you without your friends. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I don't really get why. Oh, mosquito. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much how this works. There we go. Sometimes they are too far away or sometimes they just don't care. I, I don't really know which one. Yeah, I, I didn't really do... Don't, golem. You made my gold go out there. Then, damn it, that means I have to get out there and there's a hoglin, at least I got that from it. Oh, look at that, they already respawned. I can't hit you. Just 
bring those guys in. Be the last group of piggies. Just so we can kill that tiny one. Or at least have a chance. I don't need to duck. It's just... Looks weird killing stuff that you can't see the face of. Well, can't really anyways, but... Yeah. Awesome. And then I can trade the gold to that guy. He's happy, I'm happy. Or... Hopefully I'm happy. Let's put bow and arrows in here. Got this one to make even more gold from. So, let's see. This is the tricky part because... Yeah. That often happens. Oh, you can grab them from out there? What? You gave me gravel. That's... that's not how this works. Give me good stuff. Thank you. 16 gravel. <laughs> no, not really what I was hoping for, but crying obsidian? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm... I don't know if I need to name tag this guy, because the last time where I name tagged zombie, it didn't really help at all. You're growing through the ceiling. Awesome. Uh, yeah, he, he disappeared anyway, so... Right. 30. Okay. Yeah, we need to be ready with the sword, and if there's any hoglins around here, we need to move fast. Need to build up the amount of um, golems out there again. Okay. But yeah, I think that's going to be everything for this episode. Um, right. Uh, let me quickly sleep. Yeah, I totally forgot to show you one last thing. I guess I grab these as well. Because I made this monstrosity out here. And it's not really working. It had some water flow issues, but I think... I think they had... That might be fixed after I relocked. I'm, I'm not sure. Kind of looks like it from out here, but yeah. Yeah, the, the water was just flowing in a X pattern instead of filling out the entire platform. But I think I may have built it a bit too far away from the base. Um, yeah, let's let's go out there and check. Oh, switch pants. Quickly, yeah, that. Oh, right, and I got ancient ancient debris. I found some. That's good, I think. It was kind of in the surface almost, so it wasn't really that difficult. Uh, but before we get out there... Hmm... Did I leave my buckets up here? Just in case we find another lobster. I did see a blue one close by and a brownish one. Oh, damn it. I forgot. The scaffolding. Nine. Ah, I still got some up there. Yeah, that's really. Ah, oh, that was so awesome when uh, Matthew told me how to make it. And now we can't get out of here. We still need some, I see. Oops. Yeah, that's good. 
gonna be gone forever. That's fine. We'll make some new. Even though I kind of needed to fix this thing out there. But yeah, I decided to go out like, I think it was 64 blocks out. I think I should have chosen at least half that. But the funny thing about the whole water flowing thing was it, it only f oh I can't do that because it slaps and I didn't bring anything okay but yeah as you can see it's not really producing that much I mean, it's fine I don't think I'm gonna tear it down I might just build a new one instead I think that makes more sense. I mean, it's gonna take forever to chop all of that down. But yeah, the water flow, flow, floated, flow, flow. Yeah, it came out like, like in these three, uh, but not this part here. It gave me like four blocks of water here, but three blocks of water here, 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 and then again on. Each, each side so it was like a pizza slice here that didn't get any water it's terrible and I don't really know why I do have a theory as to how I can fix it but again I don't know if I really want to or if I'm just gonna see yeah that, that's what happened uh, Grab some water. Let's see if we can find this blue lobster out here. So I keep seeing it on the minimap in the mornings. But right now, I think there's too many faces on the minimap to actually see it. I saw you lobsters, but you are red lobsters. We'll grab one more of you. Maybe we can breed them. We'll grab a couple of fish as well. I guess we need to go to somewhere warmer than this to get some better fish or more interesting fish. Oh, yellow lobster. Nice. I do see a blue one. Let's see, we gotta get it. Come on, swim. Saw you out here. kind of next to that red one whoops yeah I was thinking what is all that cobblestone but I think it's my mind yeah ain't seen that lobster further down, maybe underground-ish. I don't think we're gonna risk that. I think chances are we'll run into droughts and they'll kill us, so... Yeah, let's, let's not do that. I was also considering those flying fish, but yeah. 
I think they might escape and die. Hmm. Actually. Oops. <laughs> now let's see. Hopefully they won't. So I'm considering pushing one of them crabs up there, but I don't think they are water going type. There we go. One flying fish, one yellow lobster. One red grouper, I think. And another lobster. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of this wall. There we go. Awesome. Ah, look at him go. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Have to find out what happened to this guy, but yeah, um, I think in the next episode we'll work on making some honey producing bee things. Uh, it should be exactly the same design, just you fill them up with bottles instead of. Um, Cheers and yeah, hopefully that'll work. Anyways, as always, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any tips or advice or something like that, please do hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, remember the like button. That's always a good thing. But yeah, until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.